So it's summer now and we're beginning to think of our holidays away. Why not take a trip to Kefalonia, an idyllic Greek island, at the Harold Pinter Theatre in Captain Corelli's Mandolin. It's a heart-rending story based on the best-selling 1994 novel and it's on stage for the very first time so it's going to be there to really pluck away at our heartstrings. <laughs> So Equus is coming to Trafalgar Studios from the 6th of July. This iconic Peter Schaefer thriller deals with a teenage boy who, in a fit of rage, blinds six horses at the stable where he works and a psychiatrist who has to try and unpick his motives and why he did it. This particular staging is really inventive in that it uses people as horses and it's very versatile and there's great use of, sort of light and sound to create an ominous atmosphere and sort of sinister undertones. Returning to the West End for the second time after touring around 350 plus cities, The Illusionist is coming to Shaftesbury Theatre on July the 6th. Featuring seven of the world's top illusionists, including the unforgettable Enzo, who you might remember made a helicopter appear on stage in France's Got Talent. Wow! There's a lot of star-studded casts on at the West End at the moment, and Night of the Iguana is no exception. Playing at the Noel Coward Theatre, it stars Clive Owen, who's been away from the West End for 18 years, as well as Leah Williams and Anna Gunn. Uh, Clive Owen plays like this disgraced priest who's in this hotel and all these tourists turn up, and it's all about what happens that fateful night. Kind of sounds cool. Here Come the Boys comes to the Adelphi Theatre from the 14th of July for one night only. The show features three Strictly stars, Alias, Giovanni and Gorka, and sees them battle it out on the dance floor and the audience gets to choose the winner. Here at Official London Theatre we love a mystery. And that is why we're going to love The Girl on the Train at the Duke of York's Theatre. It's based on the book, also later turned into a film, uh, which has sold over 20 million copies worldwide. It's all about someone who is both a witness and a suspect in an interesting case. Hmm. Look over there! Okay, I might not look it, but I was a huge camp rock fan back in the day. So the fact that Megan Martin is coming to the Park Theatre to be in a show called The Actor's Nightmare, I'm living for it. It's all about this sort of satirical look at New York theatre, uh, and it's by a Tony award-winning playwright as well, so it's going to be amazing. Also on at the Park Theatre, as part of their exciting new season of plays, is The Time of Our Lives. It's all about this sort of political activist Howard Zinn and using some of his words, and it's sort of juxtaposed against some sort of first-hand accounts of war from soldiers. It sounds very different, very exciting. Tribbikids Festival comes to the Tribbikids White City Theatre this month. The first show, Little Baby Bum Live, is based on the award-winning YouTube channel and features all your favourite characters. There's also Monster Saurus, which is about a young inventor who comes up with lots of wacky experiments, including creating some monsters. And there's lots more to come on that in August. July is a good month for anyone who has children who like theatre. There's lots of young family shows coming up, including Dinosaur World Live, where you can go on a Jurassic adventure and meet lifelike puppets. Everyone's favourite family book, The Gruffalo, is returning. You can help find Peter in Where is Peter Rabbit? This musical, magical tale is one of Beatrix Potter's classics. Personally, one of my favourites. And from the writers of The Gruffalo and Room on a Broom comes Zog, an accident-prone dragon. We find out his adventures in Dragon School. <laughs> There are lots of shows for slightly older children and families coming into the West End this summer too, including Brainiac Live, based on the hit TV show, which features combusting microwaves, exploding dustbins and general scientific mayhem. Sally Cookson's much-loved National Theatre production of Peter Pan is flying into the Troubadour White City Theatre this summer, apparently featuring incredible aerial acrobatics. And finally, The Worst Witch, a new musical, is coming into the Vaudeville Theatre, based on the beloved Jill Murphy series of books, which I used to love as a child, featuring accident-prone Mildred Hubble at Miss Cackle's Academy for Witches. July, July, July. So five times. July, 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 July. July. <laughs> I can't go. <laughs>